Salut tout le monde, c'est Chirelle. On se retrouve donc sur les aventures de The Concile. On en était resté l'épisode précédent au labyrinthe où on avait bien galéré avec les statues et tout. Euh, donc là, on change, on passe à l'épisode 3, chapitre 8, le colloque. N'oubliez pas à vous abonner à la chaîne YouTube, à mettre un petit pouce en l'air, à laisser un commentaire, je vous répondrai toujours, vous le savez, et me dire ce que vous pensez du jeu, etc. etc. Sur ce, on est parti, on attaque le colloque. C'est marrant qu'ils aient mis les titres en anglais. Hein. Don't move. Un interlocuteur vous a mis en défaut. Le coût d'utilisation d'une compétence augmente. Utilisez un élixir d'or pour vous soigner. Wait, I don't. So you've come at last. Easy. Let me turn around. Oh my God, mother, what has happened to you? Who are you? What? But, Mother! Who are you? It's me, Louis, your son. No, you lie. You won't catch me out like that. Louis. Louis isn't here. He obeys his mother. He would never have come here. Mother, I don't know what you've been through, but lower your arm, please. You think I was born yesterday, do you? But it won't work. I'm begging you. One day you will fall. Mother, why are you here? Il faut rassurer Sarah. Alors, euh... lui rappeler la quête du livre. Remember, Alazif? I was sure. Where's the book, Mother? So that's what you want. Well, you will never find it. Emily died for that. What's got into her? You are evil incarnate. Every word that comes out of your mouth is sharper than a razor blade. I don't wish you any harm. Really, Mother. It's me, Louis. Don't speak to me about him. You will never get him. Mother, stop torturing yourself. It really is me, Louis. How can I convince you? If you really are who you say you are. What was the saying I taught you? You've been telling it to me since I was three years old, Mother. How could I ever forget it? Always keep your mind rational... ...and open. You knew it. You are smart. You're getting me muddled up. Tell me, rather! Whose place were we at when I told you I was coming here? Mother, I really am your son. You can't trick me. We were in Paris. We were investigating an art dealer. His name? Oh, je me rappelle plus. Von Bolcher, Von Bolcher. Oh, je me rappelle plus du tout. Ben au pif. His name was Von... Von Mortret. Oh, ah, c'était no, pas ça. No, 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 wait, wait, it, it's just a detail. He lived in Paris, near the Notre Dame Cathedral. We investigated him for three months. He made a fortune by taking advantage of gullible collectors of Parisian high society. You're a good actor. He was an ancient art dealer. He had the book, Alazif. And that's what you wanted to get out of me, wasn't it? Not at all. We unmasked him, but then he came after us. We escaped, but you didn't want me to intervene. I listened to you, and we knocked him out. What? Uh, how? You can't know about that. L Louis, no, uh, is, it, is it really you? No, no, no. It's not true. It's a nightmare. Don't tell me that. Have you spoken to him? Oh, shit. She's completely panicked because I spoke to Mortimer. It seems she's afraid of what he might have said to me about her. Did he speak to you? Mother, I don't know what you're imagining. But don't worry. Everything will be all right. If you're worried about what I might think about Elizabeth Adams, honestly... Oh, Louis! Elizabeth is the last of my worries right now. I did what I could for her, but it was too late. Very well. Rational and open, Louis. Ooh la la, on Since you show. arrived on the island, has anything strange happened to you? 
depends on what you mean by strange. Like me having visions, for example? I knew it! It started! Oh, Hell, Louis, I just wish I could... Yes, it's happened to me. Like when I was a boy, I find myself in <gasps> someone actually... else's body for the space of a dream. Have you ever dreamed of a different place to the one where you were sleeping without being able to explain it? No. But mother, don't worry. I'm not losing my mind. Everything is fine. You used to give me a concoction to calm me down when I was little. So, just make some for me once we get back home. Migraines? Lots of consciousness? Lots of control? No, no, rest assured. All is well. I promise you. What else? If you really are who you say you are, then you'll do what I ask of you. Which is? A conference is going to be held. You will attend on my behalf. No, wait, Mother. No one cares about- You will be invited and you will go. Mortimer will present a project. Whatever this project is- But- Whatever the project is, I want you to learn as much as you can about it. You'll have to get by as best you can, but we must find out what it's about. Do you understand? Don't you think that before all that, there are a few issues to be addressed? Do you understand? Yes. All right, all right, I understand. I'll explain afterward. But right now, you must go to the conference. Go now. You do realize you're still treating me like- Go! A... If you aren't there when I get back, I, I warn you. One more thing, Mother. Emily Hillsborough. Emma's sister came to this island looking for her sister. She probably won't hesitate to take revenge and... It's the signal that the conference is starting, Louis. Don't be concerned about the Duchess. She's the last of our worries. Confrontation with maman, elle est un peu ratée, hein. Je me rappelais pas du tout, mais alors du tout, le nom de la, la personne chez qui on était au tout début du jeu. Je m'en rappelais pas. Alors, faut qu'on sorte de là maintenant. Ça, ça va être le comique de l'affaire. Qu'on aille au colloque. Alors. Sortir de ce maudit labyrinthe. Mr. Dorichet, you are expected at the conference. Please take the door to your left to join the guests. Porte sur ma gauche. Ok.
rejoignez Lord de Mortimer. Qui est avec Napoléon Good evening, gentlemen. Are we ready? The much awaited conference is about to begin. That is what we have all been waiting for. I believe that Lord Mortimer wishes to speak to you before it begins. You should go and see him. Are you quite sure, sir? Is there not a little mistake somewhere? Yes, because she asked the bell last, and he could not help answering her, but she said he's here, and I believe he will come. Your Ah, Louis, I've been expecting you. Uh, thank you for joining us. We are about to begin our conference. Let me explain what is at stake. Thank you kindly, but what do you expect of me exactly? My mother is the one who's supposed to attend, not me. That is indeed what was initially intended. Unfortunately, she still hasn't been found, and my guests can't stay here indefinitely. The conference must begin, and it would be truly beneficial to the Order to join in the project. Consequently, I would like you to replace her during her absence. What is at stake here is of the utmost importance. It's important that the French Order gets their say. And should you need any advice, don't worry, you are not alone, Louis. Very well. Can you give me a brief explanation of the aim of it all? Of course, Louis, I was coming to that. The aim of these meetings is to bring together the most influential people in order to think together about the future. But the future of who? Of the world, Louis. Our desire is to steer the destiny of our respective countries for the good of all, and to no longer suffer the random hazards of history. In concrete terms, how do you organize your discussions? A conference is always organized the same way. There are two masters of ceremony who determine an important subject. You and Sir Gregory, I presume? Exactly. We shall be the masters of ceremony. It was our obligation to each bring to the table several guests in order to debate a subject. Once the debate is closed, a decision will be made by a vote of all the participants. By a unanimous vote. If the project is not agreed on by all, then it will be rejected. And neither of the two masters of ceremony have the right to vote. It's up to the guests alone to decide, Louis. In other words, us. Gregory and myself are merely the go-betweens. Finally, if the project is validated, each guest goes home and starts working to make it happen. It can take years. How long have you been active? Oh, this tradition has more or less always existed, Louis. It has continued from generation to generation. Do you often hold this kind of society dinner? In general, once a year, but in actual fact, it tends to be events that dictate our gatherings. Can you give me an example of an event that was decided here before being implemented in the outside world? Well, take the French Revolution. It was decided right here two years before its implementation in France. Concerning the case of the French Revolution, I wasn't invited. But as far as the American Revolution is concerned, Louis, I can testify that we planned it five years before implementing it, for example. Louis, let me keep you a moment. I would like to let you in on a secret before we begin, because I'm going to need your assistance. You see, the project I'm going to present concerns the territory of Louisiana in North America. It's currently Spanish territory, and I'm going to make the proposition to the Assembly for it to become French. My idea is to increase the territory of the United States. The first stone of this vast project consists of getting Spain to cede Louisiana to France. Once it becomes French, France will hand it over to the United States, which will then allow them to double the size of their territory. And that's where you come in. France and the United States, hand in hand, two democracies illuminating the world. So 
why spread it over two phases? Why not announce the overall project immediately? Unfortunately, if Spain were to hear that the intention of all this is to allow the United States to grow, they would never sign. Manuel Godoy is perfectly aware of President Washington's appetite. If the United States took Louisiana, Godoy would know full well that he will have lost the entire North American continent. Things must take place in several stages. Otherwise, the change will be too brutal, and he will have no choice but to reject the project. Take a look at them. Apart from President Washington, they all belong to monarchies. Do you really think they won't resist? Of course they'll fight, fearful as they are of losing their precious privileges. But the world needs visionaries, like you, like your mother. It's a pity Sarah isn't here to see it. She only knew about a tiny part of the project. I hope I can count on you, Louis. It's time to start now. I must ask you to keep it to yourself for the time being. Take a seat, follow the discussions. We'll have an opportunity to catch up later, and you'll be able to let me know your thoughts. Blast it, Mother. You didn't know about everything. His project is commendable. Why tell me to beware? Could you have gotten it wrong? My friends, I propose we get started. First of all, I would like to thank you for taking the time to come. The honor is ours, my lord. As per our custom, here we are all together to discuss the face of tomorrow's world. Even though there may be certain tensions between our nations, I must ask you to keep an open mind. As Sarah de Richet is unable to be among us, please welcome Louis de Richet who will represent the Golden Order and will vote on its behalf when the time comes. Welcome among us, Louis. Welcome, Monsieur. I hope he'll be more effective than his mother regarding the protection of the King of France. The Order has proved particularly inefficient. Come, Manuel, you're not going to spoil our visit. The Order's mission was not to protect King Louis XVI, as far as I am aware. We are talking about the King of Divine Blood, for goodness sake! It seemed obvious to me he needed protecting. If the Golden Order wants to pride itself on being an influential organization, it should have kept him alive! It seems that if he wanted to protect him, if Lord Doré wants to be an influential organization, he should keep him alive. Thank you all. I am honored to be among you today. I will strive to represent the interests of the Order as best I can. Perhaps we may begin, Lord Mortimer. Certainly. I have a dream that our nations will continue to support each other, more now than ever before. A dream that, for the sake of common good, we will do what it takes to ensure stability in the modern world. I have a dream that we shall lead by example and ensure that the American territory may remain in peace. Thank you for the thought, Lord Mortimer, but I don't see where you're leading. I'm coming to it, Mr. President. I need not remind you that North America is currently divided between the United States on the East Coast and Spain, which occupies the remaining two-thirds of the continent. Well, I propose that Spain cede the center of the continent to France, namely all of Louisiana. Louisiana? But, well, it is not for sale. Lord Mortimer, I sincerely hope I have not come all this way just to hear you ramble on about what Spain should and should not do. When we went to all the trouble of gaining the territory a few years ago, it was not just to lose it today. Have I made myself clear? What did I tell you, William? You speak of union, and yet here you are, about to tear us apart. Duke Manuel, I perfectly understand you. But rest assured, you will soon adore my proposition. You shall see. Well, since you give me the choice, my good fellow, allow me to doubt it. However, I am impatient to hear what Spain could possibly gain from the sale of Louisiana. I never spoke of a sale, my good fellow. 
What? But I, I do not understand. There is one more territory left to conquer, if I'm not mistaken, in the Northwest. It is, of course, occupied by your notorious Indians, but... We shall soon be rid of the savages, so that is not the question. Duke Manuel, I believe that Spain should cede Louisiana to France free of charge. This is utterly grotesque, Lord Mortimer. What a strange example you set for your young protégé. Isn't that so, Monsieur de Richet? Do you understand anything of this proposition? Ah, on n'a pas la politique. Oui. Je ne peux rien faire. I must say, William, I find your project mostly disfavors me. I thought you were my friend. And I am, Mr. President. That is why I'm doing everything in my power to calm your expansionist fervor. France, in Louisiana, should persuade you not to attempt anything to take the territory by force. Louisiana is a vast wetland where you would needlessly lose most of your troops. It would weaken you and offer certain nations the perfect opportunity to take back your famous United States. I am protecting you from yourself, George. Trust me. I understand. But with friends like you, sir, I certainly don't need any more enemies. I hope you know what you're doing. Am I imagining things, or does it look like Washington isn't aware of Mortimer's plan? Not to put too fine a point on it, Lord Mortimer, uh, but I doubt the Holy See would be in favor of Catholic Louisiana being handed over to secular revolutionaries and king killers. I should think Monsieur de Richet has an opinion on this subject, does he not? On the maps of Italy I saw in Mortimer's secret study, he had anticipated movements of troops across Italy. I wouldn't be surprised if he's planning an invasion of Italy by France, and if I push the notion a bit further, I can well imagine that Bonaparte's cannons, financed by the Order, will be used for that purpose. The noose is tightening around poor Piaggi's neck without him even realizing it. I don't know if I'm the best person to speak about that, Your Eminence. J'ai pas le choix, hein. de toute façon, on peut pas. Euh... J'ai pas mis de point dans l'étiquette. Honestly, pas assez... Your Eminence, I really don't see it that way. Mi auguro che insegnerete l'educazione a questo giovanotto presuntuoso, Sir Gregory. Hop, 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 vite. I hope that you will teach this pretentious young man some manners, Sir Gregory. It looks like I won't be just making friends here. In any case, my lord, I doubt the English crown will agree. Ich will sicher Ihnen, Emily, nie Preußen wird diese Vereinbarung akzeptieren. I assure you, Emily, the Prussian will never accept this agreement. Volner looks like he's set on ruining Mortimer's plan. Duchess, I am persuaded that we shall find a common ground. That's enough, William. These are great times. We don't care about the fate of Louisiana. That worthless expanse of putrid swamps interests no one but yourself. Speak for yourself, my friend. Hold on there, Mr. Royal Gigolo. Lower the volume and let Sir Gregory finish. Holm, Godoy, and now Volner? Mortimer's adversaries are ready to tear each other to pieces, and he takes a malicious pleasure in watching it happen. How dare you! Gentlemen, let us try to remain calm. There you are, William. See where your projects have taken us, as per usual. Chaos! That's enough. I'm tired. We shall continue this discussion tomorrow, but please be aware that your project will never be ratified. Those who are opposed to this project, follow me. Are you coming with us, Monsieur Dorichet? 
come. Hey, I think Louis would rather stay. Wouldn't you, Louis? As for me, I think I shall remain with Lord Mortimer, Sir Gregory. You are committing a grave error, Louis. Time will tell. My friends, I would like to thank you for staying. Good God, William. What is this I hear about you reinforcing military power in Louisiana? I have no interest in having France for a neighbor, and you know that very well. Calm down, George. Louis, explain our plan to Mr. Washington, please. You see, Mr. President, Lord Mortimer anticipates that once France obtains Louisiana, they will cede it to you. What do you mean? To us? The United States? You heard right. But I... President Washington, the United States will double in size. By what miracle have you... You need to expand, George. You and France are the two major democracies in the modern world. It is necessary that you both become superpowers. Are you really going to sponsor democracy throughout the world? Of course, Monsieur Peru. That's why I don't want Spain to get too attached to those weapons. Uh, please continue, Louis. Explain my vision to Mr. President. Ah, oh, là-bas, j'ai pas. Je peux pas répondre. Between you and me, Lord Mortimer, I'd rather let you explain. That's why you need to expand, George. And I don't just mean Louisiana. That's just the first step. You will soon take over the whole of the northern continent. You will become a nation able to compete with any of the superpowers of Europe or elsewhere. But why didn't you tell me before? So that Lord Mortimer would appear to be isolated without support. Exactly. You got it, Louis. Lord Mortimer retains the advantage by advancing under cover, and for it to work, he needed you to act surprised. William, you haven't changed. Always one step ahead. One step ahead? You're joking. More like five. On that note, my friends, it's getting late. Mr. President, continue to take offense over my project when we resume the conference in the morning. You do it to a T. And if Sir Gregory has the audacity to send you an emissary to convince you to go against me, do me a favor, string him along if you can. The more they believe we are divided, the more we'll have our hands free. Only too happy to oblige. Now, let us get some rest. We've got a big day tomorrow. Good night, gentlemen. Good night. Louis, if you have a minute, I would like to ask a favor of you. I'm going to require your services. How can it be of help? Tell me all about it. Our adversaries are many, and the closing vote of the conference will soon be upon us. Time is of an essence, so I'll need you to assist me this evening. How can I help? I need you to go this very evening to persuade Senor Godoy to join us. He is the backbone of Gregory's resistance. Turn him round and all the others will follow in such a stampede that Gregory will be able to do nothing but admit defeat. Lord Mortimer, with all due respect, don't you think I'm the last person Godoy wants to talk to? I'm sure you can do it. I believe in you. Lord Mortimer, you're not telling me everything. Let's say I wouldn't disapprove if the right honorable, though nonetheless choleric, Duke Manuel put you in his bad books. If it could motivate him to declare war on France, it would greatly serve our interests. War? What do you mean? I told you before the conference. The more we distract Spain from the Americas, the less it will have an eye on Louisiana. But all the same, we're talking about a war in Europe. Don't worry. That's why Mr. Bonaparte is with us. I am convinced we'll be perfectly capable of managing the conflict. And Senor Godoy is not a great soldier. He will not commit Spain to a long war that he won't be capable of managing. I'll go straight away. Thank you, my boy. And get some rest afterwards. Big day tomorrow. Essayez de convaincre Manuel Godoy. Et la vache, ils ont tout le, droit de, tout le, tout le monde a le droit de se reposer sauf nous, quoi. 
que c'est pas juste cette affaire. Est-ce qu'on peut leur parler là, euh, ou à Napoléon, non Aren't you afraid our projects for Italy may be discovered before we... Oh, uh, please excuse us, Louis, but I need to speak with Lord Mortimer in private. No, no. What do you want, Louis? I'm going to have a word with Duke Manuel, but you know him better than I do, I believe. Yes. Avoid any marks of respect and protocol pertaining to his rank. He's not fond of courtly manners. Thank you for the advice, my lord. When are we supposed to vote? The conference resumes tomorrow morning. That leaves little time for the little favor I spoke to you about. Indeed. I'll go straight away. I shall be leaving you. Eh ben c'est pas gagné hein tout ça. Bon ben on va aller parler à, à Mr. Godoy hein, si je le trouve bien sûr. Hop. Le problème c'est qu'on n'a pas beaucoup de potions. Et ça me bloque assez pour, euh, pour pouvoir euh, ben, répondre. Ah, Monsieur de Richet, uh, you wouldn't have seen Duke Manuel by any chance, would you? I was going to ask you the same question. I wanted to speak to him, but no one will open the door. I'm not sure he's in there. If I want to pass through, I'll have to get Volner out of the way. Oh, now wait a minute. Yes, I remember now. I think I saw him in the garden. In the garden? Uh, no, you must be mistaken. I've just come from there. I would have seen him. Oh, I must have seen someone else then. Most certainly. Oh, well, he's bound to turn up at some point. I'll wait. Impossible to get through with him glued in front of the door. I'll have to find another way into Godoy's room. Retrieved everything. Inferno by Dante. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Lovely lectures Mortimer is giving to his guests. Very jolly. Saint Jerome and the Angel. Yet again, art with political undertones with an image of a saint hearing voices. Saturn devouring his son. Again? I saw the same theme in the hall. I wouldn't like to be his son. Saint Francis of Assisi in ecstasy before superior voices. It always amuses me to see how art gets used for propaganda purposes. Ah, je pensais pouvoir passer par cette chambre pour euh... Last judgment. Why do I always get the most terrifying room? Dear Monsieur de Richet, please excuse me, but I am unable to join you at present. However, rest assured that we are doing all we can to resolve the case that concerns us. By the way, enclosed, you will find a key that will enable you to retrieve the personal effects your mother left behind. Yours faithfully, Lord William Mortimer. Inspiration of St. Matthew, or Matthew writing his gospel, 
dictated to him by voices. The incredulity of St. Thomas. Why is Caravaggio representing St. Thomas putting his finger in the wound? Thomas looks on, but doesn't touch. The torture of Ixion, condemned by the gods to lose his mind because of his arrogance. Peut-être par le balcon. Mary Louise of Parma. <laughs> How ironic having a painting of the Queen of Spain in one's room, my Lord Duke. Hmm. It looks like someone's hidden something on the back of this painting. It's a letter. Of course, it's written in Spanish. It, it reeks of lavender. Well, well, Mr. Godoy. You seem very interested in hiding this letter. Another secret romance, I presume? Ah, je peux pas la traduire en mince. Ah, si, maintenant je peux. So, let's see what it says. Ma tante Pepita, je suis country d'être si loin de toi à nouveau, même pour le bien de mon pays. Je souffre d'avoir dû partir sur cette dispute inutile car tu es la seule que j'aime, Josepha, à jamais. Je te le dis, tout ce que j'ai, tout ce que je pourrais t'offrir, je ne le dois qu'à l'affection de la reine. Soyons unis, je t'en prie, même dans le sacrifice pour nos, pour nos, pour nous, pardon, nos enfants à venir. Cesse d'être jalouse, toi seule occupe mes pensées, le reste n'est que du théâtre, je te le jure. Pépita. Pépita, Josepha. It seems that the Queen isn't the only one enjoying the Lord Duke's favors. Hmm. If the Queen found out, it would cost him dearly. I'll keep it with me. You never know. Hmm. Petit malin, on peut le faire chanter avec ça. Monsieur le Duc, voici les informations obtenues par nos services de renseignement. Je vous confirme que Monsieur Hay travaille effectivement sur un accord avec la Grande-Bretagne. Le but semble d'affaiblir l'économie française, mais en sous-marin, en sous-même. Également espagnol par la saisie de marchandises amères. Nos comptoirs souffrent déjà de l'embargo pour les, durées, les denrées françaises. Un tel traité signerait la ruine de nos colonies. Je ne doute pas que vous saurez rapidement trouver une issue diplomatique dans l'attente de nouvelles instructions. Donc on est bien dans la chambre de, de Godoy. Une clé. Chromolite water. Don Quixote. Talking without thinking is like shooting without taking aim. Hmm, I'm gonna have to think about that one. Prometheus. Punished for stealing fire from the gods and giving it to man. Il est pas dans sa chambre, apparemment. Manuel Godoy. A painting of himself in his room. Now that's not going to help him develop a sense of modesty. <laughs> C'est clair qu'avoir uh, sa propre photo n'aide pas beaucoup. The kiss of Judas, painted by Caravaggio. This is how Judas pointed out Christ to the Roman soldiers. Can you imagine a worse betrayal? Voilà, je crois qu'on a tout fouillé. J'espère qu'il n'est pas là, sinon il va me quick. Hein. Non. Hum. Charles IV of Spain. Now there's no chance of Godoy forgetting who he owes everything to. Charles IV of Spain. Now there's no chance of Godoy forgetting who he owes everything to. Devil's Thorn. I'll keep it.
Maria Louisa Parma. Although not Godoy's true love, the queen is his benefactress according to some people. Amber crystals. Brutus and his companions taking an oath to kill Caesar. Il tape plus l'autre par contre, hein. je ne sais pas si il est devant sa porte. Mais je vois pas où est Godoy. Il en a tout fouiné. Je ressorte par mes appartements, sinon ça va pas le faire. Inferno by Dante. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here. Lovely lectures Mortimer is giving to his guests. Very jolly. Monsieur de Richet, uh, you wouldn't have seen Duke Manuel by any chance, would you? I was going to ask you the same question. I wanted to speak to him, but no one will open the door. I'm not sure he's in there. If I want to pass through, I'll have to get Volner out of the way. Excuse me, Mr. Von Volner. I'd like to get past. Sorry, sir, but you will have to wait your turn. I, too, would like to speak to the Duke. Great. Now he's not going to let me pass. Bon, on est allé dans sa chambre. Il n'y est pas. Euh, je vais essayer de le trouver. Je vous retrouve dès que je l'ai trouvé. A tout de suite. What can I do for you, sir? I am at your service. Day and night, sir. Have you seen Duke Manuel? The Duke is in the dining room, sir. Okay, dans la salle à manger, alors. Parce qu'il va pas du tout être là, parce que lui va pas I would like to come in. I am sorry, sir, but that is not possible for the moment. Can you tell me where I can find Duke Manuel, please? Alas, I do not know, sir. I can only assure you he is not in the small salon. Why do you ask? Sir Gregory's orders, sir. Very well. Thank you. Good evening, sir. Alors, dans le petit, dans, le, dans la salle à manger. Duke Manuel? Well, well. Monsieur de Richet, I was not expecting you. I am not in the mood, sir, I warn you. What do you want from me, sir? Confrontation. Le rallye à Mortimer lui rappelle les intérêts communs de nos pays. Je venais prendre l'air vis-à-vis de votre embrouille. On va tenter ça? This conference can't have been easy for you. Is it always like this? Ha! That is the least we can say. Yet I was warned. I knew what to expect from Mortimer. But I refuse to be a laughing stock. If it is war the French want, that is what they will get. Wait, we don't have to do this. Perhaps. But everything is pushing us to do so. Just tell me one thing, monsieur. 
Why did you side with Mortimer? He is alone. Isolated. The United States can do nothing to help you, and France is surrounded by over ten countries just waiting for the word to pounce. Really? I do not see why you choose Mortimer. Oh, it's really quite simple, you know. Whose place are we at? Who can manage to bring together so many influential figures under the same roof? Technically, Sir Gregory brought more guests than Mortimer. Yes, but in whose name? Who organized the party, Senor Godoy? Who pays the bills? And you are forgetting something fundamental. Who has the biggest army nowadays? Uh, yes, 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 yes. There's no shame in admitting that France is militarily superior to you. That's why you're considering joining forces with other European countries in order to confront us. I agree that Mortimer does have some powerful assets. Tell me, do you really believe Spain has any interest in ceding Louisiana to France? Dites-moi, vous croyez sincèrement que l'Espagne aurait une quelconque intérêt à céder la Louisiane à lutter contre l'Angleterre My Lord Duke, you know as well as I do that our common enemy is and will always be England. I don't believe you look favorably at its embargo on France. Its ships cross the Atlantic Ocean right up to your coastline. Do not even mention it. If those tea drinkers try yeah. anything in these waters, I will send the whole of quoi. the Spanish fleet to calm them down. Tell me one last thing. What would I gain from all this? Alors, dans tout cas, dans tout ça, qu'est-ce que moi j'y gagnerais? Euh... My Lord Duke, in these uncertain times, I believe it would be to your advantage Croisons to be rid doigts. of Louisiana in order to focus your attention on your colonies in the South. It will show the court the man you really are and how much you truly deserve your position. And it will silence all the jibes and jeers aimed at my person. Then people would only see me as the man who consolidated the frontiers of the Spanish Empire. What a statesman yes. you are. Come on, you fool, give it up. You're trapped like a rat. Monsieur, I am astounded. I did not think you capable, but you have succeeded. I will be more wary of you the next time. Nonetheless, if you can guarantee Lord Mortimer's support, then yes, you can count on my vote when the time comes. However, I expect you to be discreet with regard to my former partners, without which our agreement will become null and void. Of course, my Lord Duke. You can count on me. Lord Mortimer will be delighted to hear the news. I hope you know what you are getting into, Louis. I bid you good luck. Good night, my Lord Duke. See you tomorrow. Yes, yeah, so now that's one thing out of the way. The only thing left to do is wait for the conference to resume tomorrow morning. On va aller se coucher et on va voir ce qui se passe le lendemain. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Chut, on lui dit rien à lui, hein, on lui dit rien. Good evening, Monsieur le Français. Duchess, you're here. What a charming surprise. I'm beginning to think you can't be without me. You have managed to penetrate my armor, sir. Am I disturbing you, perhaps? That's not what I said. Ah, by the way, you surprised me during the conference. Why is that? Well, you are going to lose. Why stay with Lord Mortimer? I believe he has every chance of winning. My, you are a rash one. However, if ever you want to change sides, please feel free to let me know. But tell me, you didn't come here to try and make me change my mind, did you? That's the last thing on my mind. Although you would have everything to gain by it. There's no point trying to persuade me. Don't hold it against me. Of course not, silly. 
Louis, if you trust me, you ought to ask yourself why I have chosen home. You do trust me, don't you? Of course, Emily. Admit, though, that it does make you think. There's still time, you know. Join us before it's too late. Unfortunately, my word is my bond. I don't want to leave Lord Mortimer in the lurch. Very well, as you wish. It's up to you to decide. Tell me, are these visits to Mortimer's always so intense? Yes and no. My sister doesn't normally disappear like she has. Any news of your mother? Still nothing. And you? Any news of your sister? No, but knowing her, I'm persuaded she's on someone's trail. You'll see. She'll surprise us all. If only you knew, Emily. You're right. We must remain positive. I'm sure it won't be long before she turns up. My thoughts, too. She is Duchess Hillsborough, after all. And as such, she's capable of anything. I am sure that you'll appreciate her. You'll see. No doubt about that. And it might turn out that you prefer her to me. Who knows? Rest assured, I don't think it's going to happen. I'm sure she's very nice, but there is only one Emily Hillsborough. We shall see. Can we change subject, please? I didn't come here to go through all that again. Of course, it's late. You're right. Elle est bizarre. On ne sait pas si c'est Emily ou si c'est sa jumelle. Elle nous manipulerait pas un petit peu? Come, Louis. My friends, do not worry. I assure you that Lord Mortimer's plan will never see the light of day. I shall deal with informing our allies, but for the time being, I need you to make a stand. What do you think about Monsieur de Richet? I don't know yet. I feel there's great potential in him. He looks like he can be trusted. And uh, Duchess Hillsborough. Oh, why isn't she here? She's busy. Don't worry about her. Oh, isn't it time to replace her? Not so fast, sir. She is an important figure. You ought to have a little more faith in her. What are we going to do about Washington? He will be a hard nut to crack. On our chessboard, he is Mortimer's king. Don't worry. Mr. President only wants one thing. To keep his dear America united. He won't jeopardize everything he has achieved on a whim. He has been serving Mortimer for quite some time. It won't be easy to uh, bring him around. Do you feel all right, Mr. Godoy? You haven't said a word. Please excuse me, gentlemen. I feel tired. Oh, I see. I think it is high time you left us then. Now! she goes again. What's with this habit of hers of taking off in the middle of the night? Sir, the conference is about to begin. You are expected in the conference room. Tell them I'm coming. Thank you. Louis, the game is back on. My friends, the conference is about to begin. Please excuse me if I troubled you last night with my project. I understand that you might well have a few questions to ask. As you know, the final vote will be cast in a few days. 
This morning's aim is to answer your questions and check the temperature of your respective positions so that we may reach a greater understanding. As always, Lord Mortimer. Uh, we parted in perfect disagreement, my lord. Where would you like us to take it from? Come, sir. Please let William believe he still has a chance of winning us over. Otherwise, his imprecations will lack panache, and we shall be bored stiff. Oh, let me reassure you. I am convinced that a good night's sleep has brought sound advice, and that this morning will be even more interesting. Therefore, I would like to go around the table in order to hear everyone's first impressions. Well, I am still firmly against it, even though my choice won't count. Against. 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 And you, Nick Manuel? Well, you see, uh, it is more complicated and it... it uh... Good boy. Come, Gregory. Don't try to impress my guests, please. They are not your guests. Gregory, anyone under my roof is by definition my guest. You included. I would be very grateful if you would let my guests speak. Duke Manuel, you were saying you still had some doubts? Well, you see, the situation has changed since last night. What's going on here, my Lord Duke? You see, I gave it some thought during the night. New arguments have come to light. What do you mean, Duke Manuel? Sir Gregory, I regret to inform you that Spain will not support you in this operation. I vote for. Moreover, in response to arguments brought to my attention, I declare war on France! What? What is he doing? If you think France is afraid of you, you are dreaming. Over ten nations rise against you, young man, and you behave like a yapping little dog? When the French armies are at your door, my Lord Duke, you will change your tune. Well, as for me, I am for Lord Mortimer's project, despite Duchesse Hillsborough's overwhelmingly convincing nocturnal attentions. What? So Emily was playing at trying to win over guests last night? It was nothing more than a friendly little chat, of course. How could it be otherwise? And by the way, remember me to your husband when you see him. And you, President Washington, what is your position? Four, of course. Well, that leaves just yourself and Monsieur Peru, Louis. You're all making me sick. Look at yourselves. What? You are pathetic! Have you been drinking or what? There you are, quibbling away. My lord do this, and Madame do just that. You know very well that we're nothing but puppets on a damn string. Jacques, come here. Let's end the charade. It's over. Jacques. My lord, thank you for everything you've done for me over the years. But it didn't come for free. And now I see the price is too high to pay. I'll stop. Come, Jack, we'll talk it over. No, I'm finished. I want my freedom back, my lord. I shall no longer work for you. Wait. Derisse, you just can't help it, can you? Stop trying to play the hero, man! Monsieur, I know I don't really know you, but you seem like a decent person. I have done so many horrible things. You blame yourself, I can see that. Everything's not lost. I don't want to do bad things anymore. You can take control of yourself again. You can fix whatever it is you've done. Do you really believe that? Of course, Jack. You'll have all the time you need. Jack, you're not alone. There's nothing he can do against him. Of course there is. We've already started. How can you say that knowing he's already probably gotten rid of your mother, Louis? No, he hasn't. She's still here. She's alive, Jack. But- Yes, trust me. Come on, Jack. Stop now, before it gets any worse. Give me the gun, please. I wasn't gonna fire at anyone, you know. I know. I don't want him to talk to me. Don't worry, you're safe now, Jack. On a réussi, hein? Sinon, il se tirait une balle à la tête, notre Pérou. Monsieur Pérou, you seriously hurt someone if Monsieur Drichet hadn't stopped you. Your behavior is unacceptable. 
You would do better to go and rest in your apartment. My friends, we shall continue the conference later. I would like to apologize for the inexcusable behavior of my guest. We all need to recover from all of this excitement. Take the rest of the day off. Eh ben, ça a été un épisode chaotique. Alors, on a réussi à... On a choisi le, de suivre Lord Mortimer, on a participé au colloque, on a convaincu Manuel Godoy. On ne s'est pas laissé convaincre par euh, Lady Isborough, qui est apparemment, entre guillemets, je dirais, est très proche aussi de Napoléon. Hein. Donc, elle joue sur plusieurs tableaux, la jeune fille. J'ai sauvé Jacques Pérou, j'ai couché avec Lady Isborough, qui a aussi couché apparemment avec Napoléon. Euh, on n'a pas réussi à rassurer Sarah de Richer. Par contre, en alternative, on aurait pu laisser, euh, se laisser convaincre par Lady Isboro. Euh, on aurait pu aussi suivre Sir Gregory Holm au lieu de M. Mortimer. On aurait pu découvrir le secret de Jacques Pérou. On aurait pu découvrir un secret de Napoléon. On aurait pu découvrir un sujet au sujet de Sir Gregory Holmes. Mais bon, déjà, on n'a pas raté énormément de choses, mais on doit se méfier énormément de cette demoiselle Sarah de Richer. Non, on n'a pas... Je vous dis que des bêtises. Sarah, c'est notre mère. On n'a pas pu la rassurer. On s'est planté au tout début avec les réponses, mais on était bloqué. Il faut faire vraiment attention d'avoir des fioles en bas pour débloquer les choses, parce que j'étais bloqué, je n'en avais plus. De ce fait, je ne pouvais pas répondre ce que je voulais. Enfin, dans l'ensemble, on s'en est bien sorti. Sur ce, ben on en reste là, on se retrouve pour le prochain épisode. Je vous fais plein de bibis, plein de zouzous. Et puis, passez une bonne journée, une bonne soirée et à très vite pour un prochain Let's Play. Bye bye